Dear friends, let us look at the Elizabethan poetry. Elizabethan poetry that flourished after the Renaissance movement and its influence in the hands of Edmund Spencer, Sir Philip Sidney, Thomas Watt, or Surrey, etc., reached its another height in the hands of William Shakespeare. Shakespeare is known for two long narrative poems like Venus and Adonis and Lucas. Apart from that, he is known by his 154 sonnets. Shakespeare's sonnets are a great treasure in revealing the human nature. Shakespeare's sonnets are basically categorized in terms of the theme, in terms of subject matter. The subject matter called the friendship is one of the major themes that Shakespeare explores in many of his sonnets. And among such sonnets, one important sonnet is sonnet number 18, that is, shall I compare thee to a summer's day. Shakespeare's sonnet number 18, titled, Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, is dedicated to his friendship. Shakespeare's sonnets are characterized for having no title for the sonnets. Generally, the first line of the sonnet is taken as title and otherwise Shakespeare gave only numbers to the sonnets. Shall I compare thee is numbered 18 among his sonnets. The subject matter of the sonnet is friendship and regarding his friends' greatness or beauty as highly worship is what Shakespeare explores in this sonnet. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, though you are more lovely and more temperate? Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's leaves hath all too short a date, sometime too hot the eye of the heaven. And often is his gold complexion dimmed, and every fair from fair sometime declines by chance or nature changing course untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade, nor lose possession of that fair thou owes. These are the significant lines of the poem. Shakespeare thinks of comparing the beauty of his friend to a summer's day. But very soon he finds a question mark that whether he can compare his friend to summer's day. Because summer's day has too many weak points and the shortages that he finds in summer are many. Summer is sometimes too hot, sometimes too dull. And even the sun who has a golden complexion is dimmed and he produces cloud. The sky cannot be so shining with golden colored light forever. There are cloud, rain, cold, winter, etc. So even summer's day cannot be thought as equal or perfect or with the same spirit in nature. His friend is, according to Shakespeare, forever very vibrant, beautiful and his beauty never fades according to Shakespeare. That is why how to compare his friend's beauty to a summer's day is a dilemma that poet faces. Poet takes comparisons like a gold complexion and the eternity or the lease, summer's lease and a short period etc. The summer is short and it is too hot sometimes. The color fades and it becomes dim 
that these are the hurdles in nature nature's summer versus the eternal beauty of his friend is the central subject matter of the song even though nature is so powerful the poet thinks that nature's summer varies and it loses its charm there is unequal distribution of that beauty in nature whereas he thinks that his friend's beauty is eternal and that summer of a friend's beauty is eternal according to the poet the poet who is considering the beauty of his friend as ever growing because as long as people can see the nature or as long as new generation can read the sonnet of shakespeare it can go on re flourishing and re enthusiastic the very idea of beauty of his friend that is why he concludes his sonnet saying that so long as men can breathe or eyes can see so long lives this and this gives life to the even though shakespeare begins with a question doubting that his comparison to summer's day would be appropriate or not ultimately says that as long as people read his sonnet so long will live his friend powerfully as a vibrant summer and as long as readers are there to muse over his sonnet his friend will regrow and relive and will have a very powerful impressive ways of re-energizing his beauty that is why even though the nature's summer is full of shortcomings the people's emotion will never fade and his sonnet will be capable of making his feelings his emotion towards his friend live for a long time and in the eternal summer of friends's beauty there will not be a question of fading or dimming that charm or the beauty and loveliness of his friend that is why the rough wind of may or summer will not affect the eternal beauty of his friend and one of the very popular sonnets that shall i compare thee to the summer's day has retained its charm because of the comparison and the language that shakespeare uses the sonnet is popular because of the vocabulary and the comparisons that he uses thank you